SafePal. So SafePal is one of the best hardware wallets that you're going to find. Uh, the crypto itself has utility for the uh, for the hardware wallet, and it is fundamentally after issues that have occurred with Ledger, SafePal looks like a really strong option. Millions of people are already using it, so the potential here for the price is pretty damn good and i'm going to talk about that in this video before i get into it though guys if you're new here and you don't know what this spreadsheet is these are the first 26 coins that i did videos about on the channel when i did these videos i showed myself buying these coins and if you'd have done the same uh say you put a hundred dollars into each of them when i released the videos you'd have gotten in at these prices if you sat in them for 16 months you'd have been able to sell at these prices and your profit from $100 into each one would have been over 123 grand. Now, in under a year and a half, that's nearly a house from a $2,600 investment in total. That's incredible. You're only going to get that in crypto. Now, we are already in a bull cycle. If you don't have a portfolio or you have a portfolio full of crap coins, you're going to end up missing out on a ton of profit. So now is actually the time to do something about it because if you wait three or four months, it's going to be too late. If you go to copymycrypto.com, what you'll see on that site is uh, the success that all my members have had, the profits that we've made. It's all public record. You can verify it. Um, and there are thousands of members on the site. Copymycrypto.com is where I share my entire portfolio. So if you were to join today, you'd see all the coins I own. Whenever I add to my portfolio with a new coin, I tell my members what coin and at what price I'm buying it. Whenever I sell a crypto, I tell my members what crypto I'm selling and at what price. This means my members get in on coins and out of coins at the same price, so they make the same profit, but they don't have to do any work. And if you're worried about your portfolio or you don't want sorted, now is the time. Have a look at copymycrypto.com because I'm sure it can help you out, guys. So SafePal. SafePal uh, has actually been around for a reasonable amount of time. Like, effectively, it had about you know two, th three quarters of the, the previous bull cycle. Um, and didn't do too badly in terms of price. Obviously, it launched, uh, reached highs of about three dollars sixty. Uh, in fact, all time high. Sorry, four dollars thirty nine. Um, and SafePal is a hardware wallet. It's a crypto wallet that launched, uh, and it and it it launched in twenty eighteen. Um, they provide hardware and software wallets. They're all paired and managed through the SafePal app. Uh, and was the first hardware wallet that was invested in and backed by Binance. Now, Binance pick well in terms of the projects that they're going to back. Um, they support tons of different blockchains uh, from Ethereum, Binance, Smart Chain, and Tron. People can swap, manage, uh, trade their portfolio uh, through uh, SafePal's app. They've grown enormously. They now have over 3 million users across nearly 200 com countries. Um, and then they launched their token back in 2021. Their, their aim is to offer affordable hardware wallets. And actually, when you compare against uh, some of the competitors, you know, SafePal's prices are actually better, generally. Um, and again, you know, they've grown really, really well. <laughs> Uh, in a very short space of time. So you can choose the kind of wallet that you want, whether it's an app extension or the hardware. So if you were to check out the comparisons of the hardware wallets, we'll do that. Um, as you can see, uh, it's supported on tons of different uh, DEXs and AMMs and uh, tons of different uh, layering solutions slash blockchains as well. Um, so the SafePal X1 is 70 bucks. The SafePal S1 is only 50 bucks. So comparatively, much, much better pricing um, than what you're going to get at, say, a Ledger. Um, and when you actually check out the... Uh, da, 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 where is it? The bank. There we go. So SafePal Bank. So this is... Uh, your first crypto friendly bank account. So you can open an account in the SafePal app. Um, they're fully compliant with the Swiss bank accounts, uh, licensed by the Swiss Financial Market Supervisory Authority. Doesn't it seem ridiculous how many like little 
institutions that you've got to comply with these days. It's mad. Um, there are privileges as well. You know, you get top up fee uh, rate, which is 0.6, referral commission is 0.40%. Uh, Easy settle process, and you can spend with like 40 million plus merchants. Um, it's a proper setup, like as opposed to some of the crypto banking stuff that you see around, which are not as uh, legitimate. As you can see as well, um, they support tons and tons and tons of cryptos. And you can see that the chain, the networks now have been added. So you've got Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, Solana, you've got Ripple, Dogecoin. Um, you can see the chains are all starting to be added. Um, again, I really think this is a quality project. And again, backed by Binance. Binance tend not to choose crap. Uh, the token itself <coughs> can be transferred to any wallet that supports the Binance Smart Chain. Um, so the token serves as the SafePile governance token and uh, can serve as a means of payment for services. Holders can create proposals and vote on new proposals, such as adding new blockchains on SafePile products. The token itself, I, I kind of view this very similarly to like a, a centralized exchange token. When you are new to something, like when people are new to crypto, um, they join a centralized exchange. The, the, the first token that you get the most exposure to is the exchange token. Within SafePal, you know, people that use SafePal tend to be more seasoned in terms of crypto, but they're still exposed to the SafePal token a lot more. Um, and it just seems like a token that's got real legs to keep going. Market cap is pretty good at 384 mil. Uh, in terms of volume, it's not great. Uh, like really not great, but obviously weekends aside, like token's been on a pretty good upturn, not really had a significant pullback. Uh, looking like it's trying to push for new highs. Um, and I actually do think this is one that can hit a new high. Like. The reality is, is currently there are billions and billions and billions and billions and billions of dollars that SafePal protect in terms of crypto. So when you've got, let's, you know, 3 million or whatever users of SafePal, even if they're only rocking, you know, say you take an average of a thousand bucks per holder. And the reality is, is some of the holders will obviously have less. Some will have far, far more but it's probably securing anywhere in the range of two to like $8 billion worth of crypto. And obviously as the market heats up, they're going to be securing more because the price is going to appreciate. So that will probably be more reflective of like 10 to 20 billion. So why the hell can't SafePal hit six, five or six bucks? Even just six bucks puts it at around two and a half billion market cap, which would probably be a quarter of what they're actually protecting. And especially when you realize that it's still not on Coinbase. And as a token that Coinbase could have objections to, SafePal is not one of them. The only objection that they'll have to not listing it would be volume. If the volume's not great, they might not be inclined to list it. But in terms of what it is as a concept, they're not gonna have any objections to it. It's not securities token. It's not gonna be presented as a securities token. And they are, and there, there is a legitimate use case here. There's no issues. So a listing on Coinbase, I think, could easily come, particularly if volume picks up, particularly if user base picks up. And then uh, I think a $6 target is really, really fair here because, again, it's one of the best hardware wallets and it's securing billions and billions of dollars in volume, uh, in, sorry, in, in crypto. So if you don't have a hardware wallet, this is one I'd check out. Uh, it's not a recommendation. There's no affiliate link or anything in there in uh, descriptions but it's just something to have a look at because it's get, again very affordable compared to some of the competitors uh, let me know what you guys think about that and guys if you want to make the same profits as me in this bull cycle you can do all you have to do is join up at copymycrypto.com that's the site i run where i share uh, my entire portfolio with my members if you were to join today you'd see every coin i own whenever i add to my coins with a new crypt like my portfolio with a new crypto my members find out what crypto and at what price i'm going to buy it 
I do the same when I sell. So my members get in on coins at the same price, out at the same price, so they make the same profit, but they don't have to do any work at all. We are in a bull cycle. If you are gonna be waiting five, six months to sort your portfolio, it's going to be too late. You're gonna have missed out on a ton of profits. And now is actually the time to do something about your portfolio. Have a read of copymycrypto.com. See why there are thousands of members on the site, and that's because of the money that they're making. So have a look, guys, because time is of the essence. You've got to get your portfolios sorted. And that's it from me. Have a good day. Bye-bye.